Hey, what is up, YouTube? In this absolute banger of a video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Logitech G Product Superlight and the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Uh, a lot of you guys apparently did not like my take on the V2 Pro, um, and to that I say I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, and this video is probably going to be controversial as well if you did not like my V2 Pro review. So. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the V2 Pro and what it does better than the Superlight. Then I'll talk about what the Superlight does better than the V2 Pro. Um, and I'm going to save my opinion on both mice because um, with that comparison, you should be able to determine like what you care about most in mice or in what mouse. And you should be able to determine which mouse you would prefer. Uh, but then I'll throw my opinion out and talk about the shapes and proceed from there. So um, number one, the V2 Pro. Uh, I think the biggest feature in this mouse is the optical clicks. Um, if you are somebody who has had a mouse that has double clicked, um, optical clicks are just great. They ensure that your mouse will probably not double click. Um, and definitely considering Logitech's track record, if you are concerned about longevity, you know, the V2 Pro is like probably a no brainer for you. Um, uh, number two, the skates on the V2 Pro are just so much better than the stock super light skates. Um, the stock super light skates are super scratchy. Um, I actually don't have them on. I have these Hotline Game 5.0 skates on, but um, if you use a rough pad, you'll probably need to replace the skates on the super light. And the, uh, yeah, so the skates on the V2 Pro are just much better. Uh, what else? The I would say that the side buttons are in a better, they're better to press. Um, compared to the super light because they are they protrude right um but the feeling on the the side ones is a little bit cheap if you guys can hear it's rattling in the shell when i press um so that's unfortunate but they do feel like functionally better to use in the super light um, and last but not least uh usb-c right usb-c is great we'd love to see that on uh products in 2022 that should not have you micro usb <clears throat> Anyway, uh, I guess I should mention the sensor real quick. Um, the sensor on this mouse is theoretically better on paper. It has just like ridiculous acceleration values. Like, um, I mean, humans can't accelerate a mouse past like, I don't even fucking know. This mouse is rated for 70 G. This is rated for like 50 G. And I don't think humans can accelerate a mouse past like 4 G or 5 G. I don't fucking know. Regardless, both mice should not spin out. Both mice have flawless sensors. The latency between the two is within margin of error, well within margin of error. Um, and the click latency between the two, this the optical switches might be a little bit faster, but it shouldn't be by very much because the Superlight has extremely low click latency. So yeah, um, let me talk about the Superlight now. And uh, this is where you guys are probably gonna fucking rip me to shreds, but number one, the coding on the Superlight is just way better. Um, it is objectively way better in terms of grippiness. Uh, like, I'm going to do a pull test here. I'm going to apply just like a medium amount of force to the mouse. Like, I can pull this mouse from my hand. Uh, and I cannot do the same for the super late. I, I can pull it a little bit because the coating is not like, it's not like an XM1R coating, but um, it is way better than the lack of a coating on the V2 Pro. And, um, I can tell that the V2 Pro's coding is not that great because my pinky finger, it slips uh, in gameplay, whereas it does not do the same on the Superlight. So yeah, the Superlight coding is just way better. Uh, I guess if you are like adverse to certain textures, like oily textures, then, then this coding might feel worse. But that's like the case with every rubberized coding. Um, like even on my XM1R, like it sometimes feels a little bit rubbery. Sorry. Um, slimy or whatnot, oily. Uh, so yeah, the coating on the Super is just way better. Um, another thing that might be important to you guys who play CS or Val, the scroll wheel on the Super Light is just, it's great, right? Um, it is extremely well-defined in terms of the steps. Uh, it feels really premium, actually. It does not, like, it feels very consistent. Uh, the scroll wheel on the V2 Pro, on the other hand, just feels super cheap. Like, like it just feels terrible. Um, compared to the uh, scroll wheel on the super light. Um, what else? Uh, the click feeling on the super light is definitely better. Uh, it is using, I mean, Logitech just has an actual tensioning system in their mouse, so it has like springs inside that um, hold the clicks 
or like push the the triggers into the mouse or whatnot um, and they just feel really tight they feel really great but um, obviously that's up to you whether to decide whether you prefer longevity in the optical switches and with that being said the optical switches are not bad at all um, but they are definitely not as good as the one on the super light and uh, what else uh, the battery life i mean the battery life on the super light is just unparalleled um, it is so good you can go like three weeks on a single charge um, i had to charge my uh, my black v2 pro once like over the week that i used it um i did like swap it with a friend for a white one but yeah um uh in terms of advantages that's all i have for the super light over the v2 pro with all of that in mind you should be able to pretty quickly figure out which mouse you'd prefer so let me throw my opinion in here and um that's going to be that the super light is just better uh, I, this mouse is just better um in my opinion the skates can be pretty easily replaced for like 10 bucks, right? And the mouse retails for like 130, like 130 USD uh, most of the time. So you'll still be spending less for this mouse than the V2 Pro. Uh, the coating, um, that's a super important feature on most mice in my opinion. And the coating on the Superlate is just not comparable. Like it is so much better compared to the V2 Pro. Uh, the click, the clicks, I do admit that the optical clicks are in terms of like double clicking, um, you know, if you are very if you are very budget conscious if you know you are looking for performance all the way down the line then definitely it is disappointing that logitech has not updated their mice with any optical switches or anything but if you are looking for pure performance the clicks on the super light definitely feel better um and last but not least the shape right the, the super light shape is literally it's so good anybody can use this mouse you can palm it you can claw it you can do the house gaming grip you can even fingertip if you want to uh i personally really like the shape for claw grip um, i put my you know i grip like this but you can also do this uh, like the house gaming grip and it feels great um whereas the viper like the viper shape is just in my opinion it is not optimal for claw grip um, it is very weird you can't really palm this comfortably you can do the house gaming grip for sure on this mouse, but my grip feels weird. Um, and the reason for that is that the, the, the front flare is just so aggressive um, that, you know, it's constantly driving the mouse into your palm, but there's no like back hump to actually support it. So it ends up feeling very awkward um, to grip this mouse, especially compared to the super light, which honestly fits my hand like a glove. Um, it's not as good as the X1R obviously, but you know, this just feels better than the Viper, in my opinion. Uh, however, like, if you are somebody who fingertips, um, if you fingertip, then I think the V2 Pro feels better. I, I don't think that the fingertip on the Superlight is, like, a great option, but it is an option. Uh, so, yeah, to conclude the video, the main points are Superlight has a better coating. Um, it's got better, better battery life. The Viper V2 Pro has better skates. So it really comes down to one big feature between the two mice. And the lack of the coating on the V2 Pro is just baffling. And the fact that like everything else just feels kind of cheap, you know, compared to the Super Light, which has a great feeling scroll wheel, the clicks are really well tensioned. Um, whereas the V2 Pro, you just have this like cheap feeling scroll wheel. The clicks sometimes grind um, and the side buttons rattle. Like, yeah. In my opinion, I think the Super Light is better. Um, you guys are, you guys can disagree with me all you want in the comments, um, and I will respond to you guys. But that's my opinion. That's my review and comparison. So um, I'd appreciate a like, a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah.